<clears throat> okay 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 good day ladies and gentlemen welcome to another day <laughs> so let's talk about cryptocurrency so today in the cryptocurrency world uh let's see how our cryptocurrency is fair because this week has been <laughs> turmoil upon turmoil dumping upon dumping but yesterday uh there was a relief pump there was a relief pump so at this moment the global market cap of the old cryptocurrency general has increased by four percent as it has increased to 913 billion 797 million uh 247,827 hundred dollars that's let's say is above 900 million billion dollars uh, uh and we all know the dominance the biggest jagaban is still bitcoin so bitcoin today 11th right uh, today 11th november bitcoin is trading over at on 17,424,000 us dollars 17,000 17,000 17,400 dollars that's gonna buy 3.9 percent this morning followed by ethereum that is trading at uh 1,277 us dollars and and so on and so on so so looking at what has been happening in the last three to four days people have started losing interest in centralized exchange people do not want to interact with centralized exchange but the problem is the the, the people that have actually made a uh, bitcoin become uh integrated with people to use it at the centralized exchange most people don't know how to use the centralized exchange so now we know we have two types of exchanges we have the decentralized exchange and the centralized exchange now this decentralized exchange are the exchange that are centralized just like our our banking system like our normal banks in nigeria city group in america uh and heritage bank in america nigerian bank zenith bank and all that all those platforms are called centralized banks and in the cryptocurrency space you now have the centralized exchange which acts just like the bank but we all know the idea behind cryptocurrency is decentralization it's decentralization that is the whole idea of the blockchain that is the whole idea of the bitcoin that is the reason satoshi nakamoto created the blockchain for decentralization so that they will not be any middleman it would be a peer-to-peer -peer something you and i will transact directly no middleman no middle ground no banking system that collect exorbitant fees to make transaction for that is the whole essence of the cryptocurrency and the blockchain industry but you all, we all know that most people really do not know how to navigate these waters that is why the centralized exchanges grew in power and popularity and in usage and to, to the truth of the matter is this centralized exchange make things very very easy it is very easy to trade on a centralized exchange compared to this decentralized exchange so before i go further what is the difference what are the differences between a centralized exchange and a decentralized exchange so let me define both first a centralized exchange is an exchange that is centralized that has uh, its operation and everything in-house it has everything in-house while a decentralized exchange is the opposite it has all its operation it just mostly integrates with third party and all that everything is decentralized it is not owned by one person it is not uh so you understand centralized is in-house while centralized is external so what are the what makes a centralized exchange centralized now a centralized exchange they are the one that will keep your assets for you they control your assets they do what they want with your assets you keep your assets with them in their care while a decentralized decentralized exchange is the opposite you are the one that takes care of your assets so just like the banking system you go there and deposit your money they are the one taking care of that money they are the ones securing that money for you they are the one they do what they want to do with it they can even lend it out and have the truth they will lend out your money why because you have given them the power to be in control of your resources 
unlike a decentralized exchange, the decentralized exchange do not have control over your money. What you do on the decentralized exchange is just go there and trade, convert it to any coin you want to do, and you get your coin out of it. You don't give power to a decentralized exchange. The power still belongs to it, which is the whole essence of cryptocurrency in the first place, decentralization. So right now, with what has been happening in the last three, four days, people have started losing interest in centralized exchange because how will you give your money for somebody to keep for you and at the end of the day they mismanage it in the last six to eight months more than 15 centralized exchange has crashed is it celsius is it voyager is it uh bit bank is it uh now ftx ftx.com most of them are already mismanaging money they're already crashing they are they are all having liquidity crunch and all that so people are already losing faith in centralized exchange this is the same thing that happened to the coin of luna when luna crashed it crashed almost 30 to 30 billion was wiped out turned to dust people's money from people that that own millions of dollars in the luna it's turned to like hundred dollars in less than one week how do you explain that how do you fathom that or how do you absorb that to your body unlike centralized banks that we still have insurance that helps you cushion the effect of these things most of these centralized exchange are not regulated there is no insurance backing if you lose your money with them boom it's gone so whether you like it or not as a cryptocurrency trader you must find a way to start navigating the waters. Find a way to start using decentralized exchanges so that you can be in total control of your assets. You can be in total control of your resources. Some platforms are still very strong, but whether we like it or not, when people ask control over your money, then you is <laughs> is is a, a, a time bomb that is waiting to explode. So. I believe platforms like Binance are trying to create a decentralized form of trading too where you can just connect your wallet and trade on their platform so that you have uh, complete access, complete, uh, complete ownership of your cryptocurrency. You don't have to give that right to Binance. So people are really, really losing faith in centralized exchange. So centralized exchange have their own usefulness too it has their own pros but too much comes because <laughs> they will just mismanage your money one of their problem is that when people save like let's say 10 billion dollars with them they can't just keep that money in house they have to use it for something people money is not meant to be kept somewhere it's meant to what to function to make more money so they will loan it out but when there's a small issue or maybe where a documentation leak and people want to withdraw their money at the same time there will always be a cash crunch just like the same thing that happened to ftx now ftx has the resources <laughs> to actually pay these people but most of their their money are tied down in investment that has not started yielding profit yet so and if everybody wants their money at the same time, <laughs> you have to give it to them. And if you can't give it to them, you'll be tagged as a scam. That's why I try to sell the company to Binance. But when Binance look at our Benny, he like say you will not we not get too many debts. <laughs> we can't buy your Benny. So at the end of the day, the FTX moved from I think twenty five dollars to like one point five US dollars. That's over 94 percent crash so as a trader as anybody that wants to invest in the cryptocurrency space the kind of resources you put on centralized exchange there should be money that you are willing to lose uh, that you are willing to, to to let go so try as much as possible to have full control of your resources try as much as possible to use decentralized wallet decentralized exchanges and do due diligence when you are 
interacting with any platform the moment you hear any rumor about them or they start having issues saying the saying that withdraw your money and wait for confirmation don't be asking stupid questions like hey are you people going to 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 halt withdrawal are you people going to do this no don't wait for that withdraw your money put it in your possession and start asking questions if you're fine you can put your money back the platform is not going anywhere anyway this is getting too long have a lovely day the cryptocurrency space is a beautiful place to trade you can make money you can also lose money so always trade with money you are willing you are you are you are, you are comfortable <laughs> to lose you are, you are comfortable with don't trade with your school fees don't trade with your house rent don't trade with your feeding money the money you used to eat today don't trade it <laughs> you can lose it desperation creates uh, poverty when you are desperate to make money probability is you always lose money so don't trade with money that uh, you want to use to eat today till next time my name is Jeremy Moloy have a lovely day